Hello everybody and welcome to Amphrey Review. Today we're doing a bit of a topical video, a bit of a random topic. Just got back from work and this kind of question has been on my mind since the recent 88 film announcement. Where they did a, a fantastic lineup of uh, brand new Shaw Brothers movies, movies that I absolutely love. And one Pacific film, Drive on 4K and Deluxe Edition. I mean, wow, what is going on? <laughs> it is true what they're saying. 2022 is a phenomenal year for Hong Kong movies already. And this is just like the tip of the iceberg. We're not even out of February yet. And we're getting some really fantastic releases. So my question for this kind of video, and just kind of throwing it out there, and it's been playing on my mind a little bit, is that are imports worth picking up anymore? Is it worth waiting for the right type of release? Now, what I'm saying in that regard is, like the past couple of years, obviously, been a slowly increasing of Hong Kong movies. Uh, many distributions, you know, distributors come from ATF Films, Eureka, Arrow has definitely jumped in the board and that kind of thing. And some of the other smaller kind of companies definitely jumped in as well. Even uh, Criterion have jumped in as well with the throwdown kind of thing as well. And there are so many movies coming out on different type of labels and releases. You know, which is the right version, which is worth waiting for. It's like, for example, I've got Drive Blu-ray, uh, really fantastic release uh, from uh, the Rewind collection. Um, MVD Rewind, which is a great release, I really like it. The 4K release is a deluxe edition from ATA Films. Same edition, slight tweak transfer from what I'm reading, and it's like, you know, a more premium kind of packaging. So I think to myself, you know, is it worth waiting for some of these editions, but how long is it worth waiting for? You know, Drunken Master 2, uh, that had a Warner Bros. archive release, I got that edition on Blu-ray. But, you know, is it gonna get a UK release, like Mr. Nice Guy? Mr. Nice Guy is getting a HMV exclusive, uh, Warner Brothers edition, which is fantastic. Now, this has got of course a couple of years after the US release But it does eventually come out in various places same with uh, some of the kind of ATA kind of Shaw Brothers movies a lot of those ones that come drink with me is getting kind of a premium kind of arrow release in the US So I think it does more maybe apply a bit more to the UK audience than it does maybe the US But it can alternate vice versa kind of thing and it kind of really got me thinking, you know, when is the right time to wait and when is the right time to jump on board some of these editions? Like something like, you know, a premium, uh, you know, Young Master kind of a, you know, box edition. I don't think anyone's really going to top that. I think that's the best possible version you possibly can get. And with the recent announcement from like, you know, driving on 4K, where does that lead to kind of thing? And that's a really scary question. You know, I always joke about with me and my friend is that they're going to release like an old collection, Jackie Chan collection on 4K, brand new kind of scans kind of thing, an additional top of the uh, recent kind of, you know, ATA and Eureka releases. And I can see that at some point happening in the future. So yeah, that's where the kind of the video is coming from. I'm just curious to see what are your thoughts and opinions, guys, on these kind of double dip, triple dip editions coming out on different various kind of formats uh, from the UK, the US, you know, Hong Kong, you know, a lot of people go for more uh, Nova Media releases. Some people get like those kind of French imports as well, you know, which version, which is the line drawn in this sense? You know, how many times can you pick up a film? You know, what is the justification of picking up another release? Is it the deluxe edition? Is it the booklet? Is it the new transfers and new extras? So there you go, guys. That's been my thoughts and opinions on this kind of little topic. And I'm very curious to see what your thoughts and opinions are, guys. Please comment down below during the conversation. I've got a double bill Hong Kong review for you guys soon. Please stay tuned. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. Until next time, guys, I'm for reviews. Signing out.